All right, so I've been searching far and wide um, in my uh, you know local area. Uh, I've driven a couple hundred miles in a multiple directions searching for a CZ457 Pro Varmint. Uh, and I'm really particular when it comes to purchasing a rifle. I have to, it needs to be something that's in the store, on the shelf. I want to hold it. I want to inspect it. I want to look at it. I'm not going to pay uh, up front to have something shipped to the store, have it get there, and me have an issue with it. Uh, it's just, I'm superstitious that way. Uh, so, anyway, uh, here today, uh, I was at a, a local gun range, a uh, pretty big gun range, uh, that also sells a lot of firearms uh, because a guy uh, at one of the gun clubs I belong to uh, last week or the week before mentioned that, you know what, there was, a, there was one of those pro varmints uh, at, you know, the Modern Sportsman uh, here not too long ago. It's like, crap, I forgot they even were down there or that they sold rifles. Uh, so I went in there uh, here today and they didn't have, they've had some CB, CZ457 uh, Americans and stuff like that, but they didn't have the pro varmint that I was looking with, you know, for with the, the bull barrel. Um, and I was, you know, gonna, you know, leave it at that. And then I kind of looked around, I was like, well, what's this? And, huh, 1022. Um, I don't have a 1022. I've never owned a 1022. I've kind of always wanted a 1022. So... Here it is, my first 1022, uh, and it's the, you know, kind of, it's just their whatever, I don't even know, there's no special name to it, it's a 1022 16 inch carbine uh, in a pretty heavy uh, Hogue uh, rubber over, you know, molded stock, uh, it's got a no rise pick rail on the top and some iron sights uh, and a single box magazine, but I've got some spare magazines from an old, uh, or from my, uh, my old, uh, uh, RPR uh, that I've still got here that I didn't give my kid when I sold them that rifle so I've got backups for that but uh, uh, we're gonna throw the Arkin SH4 Gen 2 on it because I want something in mil radians because I'm hoping to get this thing dialed in and uh, kind of go play around with some steel spinners and stuff like that to see how you know how many times I can get uh, you know a gong to spin over or whatever but anyway there it is there's uh, the new rifle that uh, I'll be playing around with and checking for some accuracy here uh, over the winter months this year uh, tell me what you think in the comments if you got any tips on these uh, or if I had experienced any issues I'll be looking for help because I don't know a thing about these uh, I know I will be watching Don's channel a heck of a lot closer uh, moving forward here so yeah uh, there it is, uh, first 1022. As always, you all have a great day, and we'll see you at the range.